Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Nremic, and welcome back to more Stone Hearth. The profile pictures are still there, but we're there. We're, we've begun to make progress. That's all that matters in this game. So, like I said, I've let the game run for a little while, let them make a tiny bit of progress, but again, I can't let the game run for too long without recording, because I just get that sort of itch to start going. So, once again, they're actually just beginning on the same old episode, same old things. Uh, sorry for hearing the background noise. Again, my family's home, and that warrants a whole onslaught and bombardment of background noise. Which I'm just, I'm sorry about. The only thing I can say is I'm sorry about it. Anyway, they've introduced the new builder fully in this latest build. Okay, but I suppose that doesn't matter because we have just had invaders begin to attack us. Now, it doesn't seem like a much, but trust me, you you want to put these guys in town defense mode because um, say my uh, guy is incapacitated from goblins or something, and these guys attack. If they're not in town defense mode, these guys will absolutely slaughter the town and everything else in it. So it's better safe than sorry, but I think he has it under control. And, you know, while that's happening, uh, Helen Umbro can join her toffee bar. She's at it. Now, um, so let's see what everybody is actually doing in the task mode. I didn't get a nice look at that. So everyone wants to restock items. So they want to move some items to storage. Okay, so they're actually beginning construction of this uh, path now, which is great because it means, again, they'll be moving less wood into storage. Wood isn't the biggest effector of uh, everything just going downhill, by the way. It, it's mainly craftable materials and whatnot, but okay, a large tree-like figure approaches. Greetings, humans of Toffee. I have come to warn you about the growing unrest within these forests. We will not return the children of the forest. They do not belong in your crates and piles of trinkets compiled with. This basically says... If you give them a bunch of logs, it'll clear a bit of your lag, and you get some stuff in return. Thank you for your cooperation. In return, we have prepared a gift. Entlings carry loot, scurry towards you. Carrying loot, scurry towards you. Here, take this as a token of red soup. 132 gold, a massive oak sapling, a massive bone axe, two decorative teapots, and a fur rug. Okay, so like I said, we, I think we need to actually level up our footman before we can um, fully make him do this. If, if you click, yes, he's, he, it's level 4, and if we were to click on him, it says he is currently level 1. So we have a little ways to go, but once you get more complex enemies spawning in, um, he, he should be leveling up the problem. Um, a good way to actually get him to level up is to, uh, well, any uh, footman release, just to look around for any goblin camps. They only appear on the layer, so as you can see here, this like whole floor area, and any little steps up are one layer. You'd have to build a ladder to get onto this layer up here. As, as, as like the next tier so you can get more guys spawning in so um yeah they've begun work on that um i think i might actually speed that up um okay yeah uh, this game isn't as nearly bad on the fender as it is as a uh, sims it can be don't get me wrong it can be and it could be now again this uses all, all other materials but well this guy is moving fast hopefully the video isn't stuttering too much because again it might be the game that stutters but they've actually optimized the game as well so the video would look a lot worse on a previous episode if it did this, but I'm going to slow this down slightly because, again, my CPU's getting a bit fried. Okay. Here's some fun stuff that we can look around with. So, he came with double the gold as well for the thing that we did last time. Now, one thing I think is pretty important that we should go ahead and do is... Okay, this decorative teapot, you uh, you can basically sell that. So, uh, that's some free money right there. Again, we can't sell him any gold... 132 of it, mind you. Um, okay, I think that's everything. Except we are still one short on a mason. Now, actually, let me check. Uh, where is Helen when I... Uh, so she's actually the person constructing things. If I was talking my... Uh, um, whatever you would call the thing. Okay, yeah. no, one's eat no one's building now, but I think it's Helen who's doing things. Luckily, the mason literally does everything. It's just they can craft that thing and have a workbench as well. Sadly, the mason doesn't get his own house, like the herbalist, the blacksmith, and the carpenter. But eh, that, that might be something for a, another update. Maybe Stonehearth? I don't know. Um, right now, now I'm actually thinking about it. Um, how do I place down the uh, pre designed buildings? Okay, here we are. So click on templates. It's actually kind of scary. So if he was to click, okay, uh, what, about, what about house? Okay, so, oh, you could get a black, yeah, see, like I said, I have a lot of these things. So, look, uh, I'm actually happy that they've given me the option to go through and do all these things. Um, what I need to do is I would probably go through and destroy a couple of these things. So, for example, this ball symbol, I don't want this. Um, I, I was looking for in-game templates, though, because those are my custom templates. 
remember correctly. Uh, I, just, I don't think I'll ever use them. And yeah, most of them are based off Rise Children, because that's when I downloaded the mod. But um, yeah, okay, look, a CT house. Uh, Halfling Hiding Cut is something I made in the previous series, so shout out to you if you could remember that. But, okay, so they've given you the design a building thing, but I don't know. Um, what if we search share? Okay, so the original templates are still there. That's what, but, okay, actually, another thing I need to do, type in 12C. Um, large storage house 12C. Okay, here we are. So this is the behemoth storage thing. This thing is probably what's going to save you from a lifetime of having to worry about what's going where in your town, how everything's going to fit together. Th this will just, uh, this is probably uh, the closest thing to saving your town that you're ever going to get. <laughs> if your town's in that bad of need, of course. Um, okay, so I think, uh, I'm not sure I'm trying, to, I'm trying to line it up, but the game really doesn't want me to uh, function here. Okay, yeah, there's, of course there has to be some random bump. Yeah, I think we'll go put it here, and then, uh, just because it gives them a little bit of room to put something else here. But, um, okay, that's good. Now, how do we, uh, okay, so that's, um, okay, so that's save build. Okay, no, I don't want to save it. Build, there we are. Right. Okay, so they're saving the template for some reason. I should pause, right? Okay, so it's a bit weird. I don't like the new builder, it's confusing, but... See, I'm not exploring with the new builder, this is actually pretty interesting. And we have been, we've been going for nine minutes. Oh, seven, actually. Okay, right, so, okay. I, I can sort of understand it. They, they need to ch ch tune the AI a tiny bit. Next thing that goes there will link up the rest of the paths, though. Um, okay, oh, there is an error. What What is your damn error? Okay, what what's the error? Error. Okay, there we update. Cool. Okay. We just have a massive glowing red triangle thing. I don't understand what's the problem. It's that. I don't understand why is that specific part of it glowing. Okay, is, is that fine? I don't understand why is there a massive red exclamation mark? What? what? Stone half devs. You confuse me. I have the chance you've probably watched one of my uh, videos on the other. Yeah, they confuse me. This up Tuesday is a pretty good thing if you want to keep up to date with all the latest and greatest Stone half news. <laughs> I made that sound a lot worse than it actually is. Uh, no, it's actually a pretty good thing if you actually want to see how what progress the game is actually making. These are regrowing just as I'm sending them to harvest them. This is poetic. Yeah, like I said, I still have the auto harvest mod on, so whenever these regrow back there, I instantly command to go do that. Possibly not the best idea. Actually, now I think about it, do we have a farmer? We, okay, we have Tessa Bulb. She's the closest person to a farmer we're going to get. Okay, so we might as well enqueue the hoe so it actually can turn off auto harvest, because again, uh, very, it can be very disruptive to the town. Um, right, so move that down. Anything that doesn't want to work, move it away. Until uh, your carpenters are skilled enough to take it on. Anyway, let's go ahead and put this at the very top. Yeah, like I said, sometimes it, the, the game can be a little uncooperative, but you sort of have to end up getting to, to, used to it anyway. Okay, right. So, we're on our way, practically, to uh, setting this. So, I'm actually going to turn also harvest stuff on all of these. I know. It's tragic, really. Okay. Anyway, invaders are approaching. So, okay. Right. So, we're getting more quantities of invaders, but he can still handle them. If he was to level up for the first time in this episode, I'd be so happy. Okay, right, let's click on something that gives a pleasant thing. There we are. I don't know why all the things are glitched. It's not a resource thing. It's probably because I'm using the latest build, so I'm able to use the workshop integrations. Okay, the bird returns. Okay, um, music's sort of a bit intense here, isn't it? Okay, anyway, so we've got another letter. Messenger bird returns with a private mayor building house. That has bite marks and slightly drooled on. Harold is doing his best. 
of a buy. Congratulations on your founding rap buses that in entered into the registry. Consider yourselves official. Her Majesty's Outpost of Toffee. It has a nice ring to it, I think. An inspirational banner design as well. All of us here are eager to wait your success. Hit a drop, post grows, settlement status, yada yada yada. You need to choose one of these things to be considered. Oh, and he's, he sent us some food as well. So, um... Yeah, the game's basically being a bit needy, I think. Oh! That's weird. See, I like this, it, the UI is so much nicer. Here it's like, uh, ha, ha, ha. Say, it's like Satan is what it is. Okay, I might, I might be able to get used to this builder, I don't know. Okay, what else is actually currently in construction? So, right, uh, what about the path? What's the path up to? Where's, which building links to the path? So, okay, so that's the path. Okay, one of these has to be the one being built, surely. Okay, so it's that one or that one. Okay. Con confused. It does not begin to describe how I am feeling right now. I'll just pause building on that. I think that is probably the best course of action. Okay, anyway. Uh, it goes so dark at night now as well. Eh. Yeah, I have to. I, I just love how like the little fire things look as well. Th those are just mm, top notch. I should probably turn my graphics setting down to this because again, uh, I don't think the game is particularly uh, adapted to want to uh, run on such high settings and record. I think mean, that's my own fault. So next episode, sadly, the graphics will have to be slightly toned down. But who cares? Just got to go ahead and move these out of the way so I can construct right next to the house. You know, got to be efficient, you know. So, um, now that these are out of the way and now we have a competent farmer, we should, in theory, no longer need to rely on berries. Okay, so we just got to... Hmm. Right, so I'm, I'll measure it out in terms of this now, so... Um, so... Yeah, five... See, I could do 10 by 10 and generate a whole load of food. Or I could, like, not. See, I don't know, because I always used to have a food problem. Yeah, you know, we'll start by 5 by 10, and if, it's not, if it gets really bad, it's bad. So what? Yeah, I think I think that's a good uh, attitude to have towards... Uh, when, when, you know, you're basically responsible for feeding a whole load of people. Like, perfect attitude for that, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, so... Aha! Okay, for those of you who are wondering why I just went aha, basically... Uh, all of this has been linked together as one massive building. So that says it's building number four. This is also building number four. Oh, that's building number two, but this is linked together, I believe. Yep, see that? These two are also building number four, conveniently. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, see, it can join with the floor box, whereas here, there's grass. <laughs> so, a bit, when I say uh, construct, uh, they're basically constructing a... I think, I think this is the entire criteria for everything, really. <laughs> oh, well. So... Okay, so we're slowly making progress, more and more people joining, I think this is a pretty good, we're definitely getting off to a good start. Um, like I said, the uh, game is kind of like a whiny child, they definitely need to refine the new, the new builder, because it's, I like the old builder, it's more UI friendly, I can place down my templates and be done. I wouldn't necessarily have to go create some massive new world. Talking about a new world, you can get that from mining, which is what I'm actually going to begin doing here, so that way this area doesn't look really dumb. So yeah, you can basically just turn on the slice tool, slice through some land, and uh, yeah, I'd call that uh, how you do it. Just gotta go ahead and do that. Nice little mine for later. I'm not gonna keep it uh, going now, but it's a mine. It's there. 
that way you don't need to complain about me and what I'm going to use that zone for, because I can assure you there'll be that one person who's just that I anticipating to know what's going to happen with it. Um, and of course, uh, we'll join this on and just basically give them com the commands to uh, annihilate this little just ring out bit because it's that annoying. So hopefully that satisfies all of you that really, really just didn't like them. Also, you can enable multiplayer in this game. Um, like I said, I could enable multiplayer right now, but I don't think it'd necessarily benefit the series in any way, other than, wow, look, multiplayer, isn't that cool? Okay, I don't think I can actually stop them constructing these things since now we'll count them as one building. Not to self, the paths in after all of these have actually been constructed. I mean, you can see the path beginning to take shape. They're just a little bit confused of how they've uh, ended up at this point in their lives. On the first, like, the first generation of crops is beginning as well. Actually, I've just thought of something. So maybe if I press F5, because that resets the UI. Okay, yes, this is a good idea. Thumbnail. Nope, unclick that. Aha. See, so that's how you make a th thumbnail in this game. You press F5 and it removes the entire taskbar and whatnot. And it kept that in as a ghost building. So, yeah, even though they haven't finished constructing yet, I can still use that as a thumbnail if I want to. See, I'm pretty sure I'm sat there editing this right now, looking through, and you're like, mm, me from the past, I've sinned on you numerous times, so I'm not having good commentary, but this time, this time I'll let it go, because it's pretty damn nice what you did there. So, see, I don't know why I count future and past me as two completely different people. I don't know. It's just kind of fun to sort of mess around with the concept and that thing, I think. Anyway, right, the carpenter has actually leveled up. I actually fe I feel very sorry for the carpenter because he has to craft all of this. Just not, I'll put the weaver's thing at the very bottom because I think it's probably the least I could do to deserve uh, to, you know, torment him at the, this moment in time. Um, so that requires a carpenter level four. So he needs to level two more times or three. So I want to find something that's level three. Okay, so we need to level one more time before we can get an archer. Um, how many more? F yeah, this this was ridiculously hard to make. So it just kept using the bolt of cloth like f forever, and it just, it didn't end. The weaver was. I could put the weaver down now, but okay. We have all we, all we need is some pink flowers. Okay, I can do with it. I thought we wasn't high enough to put some flowers in a box, but no, it's just me overlooking things. I'm I'm sure some of you are probably screaming at your screen for me to do that then. Don't worry, I've only acknowledged it many hours into the Let's Play. Not even an hour into this Let's Play, and I'm already sort of having fun. So it hasn't begun to go down the hill. We haven't begun to face all the challenges. We don't need to worry things anymore. All we can do is we can open some shops before they even get presented to us on the screen and just sell things randomly. Okay. I'm at... at <laughs> I think I'm gonna begin to take offense to the fact that somehow they still haven't managed to um, take into account the 123 gold bars he gave us. It was 130. Like, he gave us so much gold, and they was like, what gold? Well, like, it just. <laughs> they, they've just completely discounted all of the gold. Like, eh. What can I say? The game's still an alpha. I can't wait for this game to be fully released, because what I'm assuming. Now this is my assumption, but what I'm going to assume is when this game is released, um, when they do, they'll release the final alpha, and then they'll take a while. They won't update the alpha for ages. Um, and no one will get an update, they'll be a bit bored, and then they'll release the full game, and it'll be polished, it'll be refined, there'll be so much more, and I'm sorry you have to hear my chair squeaking, but yeah. I think that'd probably be the best way to release They come back, they have all these new features, mm. I, I know that then I'd like be hooked on the series. Oh, Goblin Thieves. Okay, this is where you do town defense mode. Not only that, we have to actually send in the Thought Destroyer himself. Never mind. Okay, where is the boy? So, um, basically, it, once people are in town defense mode, if they were to be attacked by goblins, they would all gang up on them and try to attack them. So, okay, we are, um, okay, never mind. You're not a goblin, are you? So, yeah, as you can see, the goblins are kind of uh, terrified for their lives, but... <laughs> He's just getting some cheap shots on. They're not even turned around to fight him at this point. Well, goblins are more of a nuisance than anything else. Like, I could probably let these guys go and continue on with the day. That, that's just how much of a sort of nuisance they are. Like, sure, they'll run away from a goblin or two, then they'll slay it and they'll be very happy. 
Again, putting people in town defense mode is not like good at all because they hate they hate having town defense mode enabled because they're like, you know, I was terrified for my life. This isn't a fun place to be. Anyway, right, we've achieved trap level two, so he gets more stuff and more things. And he can have a little pet fox. Oh, I love it when people have those. Okay, time to bully another one of these things to death. Why would they set it up so close, though? Like, my trapper is literally there. How come it wasn't noticed until the actor came to invade us? I don't know. But this is very good news for my uh, actual footman. Again, I just want to look around to see if there are any extra goblin camps. So again, those are great for leveling your guy up. And I'm not talking mini ones, I'm talking big ones with the wolves and everything. Sh sure, it's, it's only a wooden sword, but wooden sword, endless opportunities, sound like the same thing. So now, here we are, the final battle. So we're going to fight to get four wood back and a bit of raccoon pelt. Why does that sound like the greatest deal I've ever heard? Uh, sure, it seems a little bit silly now, but trust me, when they start selling, selling, stealing gold and crafting items you need to finally level up your town, uh, these guys become a whole lot more annoying. <laughs> like I said, we've gone on for a fair amount of time. We have made a fair amount of progress. Um, what I, again, what I'll do is I'll finish recording, and I'll actually let the game go on. I won't accept any new villagers or anything like that, but I'll just let them build all of these things, because I think that would probably be the best thing for me to go ahead and do. I could probably play uh, the game and just like run wild as my computer renders it. I, I don't know. I'll figure something out anyway. Well, here we are, the final goblin. Strike one, strike two. Is it four strikes or five? Bet now in the comments below. Okay, the first hit takes out a quarter of his health and the rest is taking out it, it out in eights. Sure, sure, fine, whatever, that, that's fine. As for these, they actually seem to be keeping up fairly well. Okay, trade approaches. Nah. And here he goes. The music kicks back in. And all he does is he's just gonna return for one final time and destroy those uh, campfire things so we can loot these things. You get massive camps. I'd say the size of uh, this actual trapping area here. You can get camps the size of that in some parts of the game. And then you have armies sent after you. It's just, eh, it's pretty fun. Anyway, everything's back to normal. Yeah, that was a battle that went on for far too long. Eh, I don't mind. It's pretty fun. See, I like this one. This, this not so much. Invade. Okay, wait, no. Okay, they're gonna get salty for the fact that I've literally just uh, did, done that. But no, fine. My my guy needs a little bit of experience. Okay. Yeah, right. Every, everybody back to work. Uh, it, it's it's literally wood, and the halflings can still get killed by it if they're not. Or they get like a courage statistic or something when they're all cowering. So they'll actually fight back. But if it isn't there, they're just going to be slowly killed to death by some random bits of wood from the forest. After that's just one of the more funny elements of this game, and I can't I can't pin why, but it just is. Anyway, though, yeah, okay. Carpenter's is actually making a pretty okay job of himself. And here we go, the final guy. How has this guy not got a promotion yet? How has Neramic not got a promotion yet? Actually, no, he's a level 2 footman. Never mind. Still! Sh I, I thought he would have been level 3, have a massive stone axe. Yeah, I think that's level 3. Yeah, like I said, the, ro the roads are coming to fruition. Sure, they're made of wood, but they do give him the speed stamp. Also, a new thing they've added, I don't know why, they've added in this uh, appeal mechanic, so if I was to put this here, uh, plants have a natural appeal, ladders and whatnot have a na natural appeal, um, so there are certain things like rocks which give you a negative appeal, so anything that's green actually gives it off a good appeal, so I like that window, the scaffolding not so much, those chairs, they absolutely adore, again the scaffolding not so much, over here uh, it's a mixed bag really. And over here, they love the half pit and construction things. Each halfling is different to what it likes, so it actually creates a little average, I believe. <laughs> but yeah. They're, they're all just sort of sitting inside of here, uh, eating without an entire roof over their head. And the... <laughs> still enjoying themselves. Well, here we are, Deep Mum 8. And I think that is a good time to actually end off the episode. No more goblin camps have spawned. 
Mm, we love the uh, swordsman a little way. Next episode, things are really going to get on the way when they're actually able to focus on one thing at a time and just annihilate it. We've got nine villagers so far. They're all doing pretty well. Since when do we have two farmers? Okay. So, we have two farmers now, which means we can actually double the output of that. Um, again, the main issue is that if you don't have that and the farmers, they aren't able to manage the entire workload. Okay, I, I didn't remember we actually have a farmer. I thought that was like a thing that I was going to plan to do next episode, but sure, sure, whatever. Okay, so they have their own fire by five plot now. Sure, sure, we, we can go with it. We'll, we'll see how it works out. So, yes, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure we thumbs up. Possibly subscribe, turn notifications, I would comment down below. But with all on the side, thanks for watching guys. My name is Dunaramic, and peace out.